All right, good evening, ladies. Tonight is a tutorial of how to use Google Drive to store your photos and organize your photos. And Cameron's over there, just finishing up her bottle, so she might be a little noisy. So, um, Google Drive uh, is originally a, a, a website. Uh, it's just a place you go to if you have a Gmail, Google Drive, it, it comes with it. You get a Google Plus account, you get all of this, Google Maps, Google Play, Gmail, Google Calendar, Google Photos, all of it. Google Drive is one of the applications that is from, uh, you know, that's included. So this is Google Drive on the internet. Um, as you can see, this is Lauren's Google. She has a folder called Joe, which is where we store. Uh, we just barely started using this before we delete our albums after a sale. We, uh, we use Joe and we ex export a PDF for our record. Uh, we have a folder for Cameron's first birthday that's coming up in a few months. Google Photos, Lisa LuLaRoe Photos, that's our joint account, and then LuLaRoe Photos. Um, so, and then all of this is just other random documents that Lauren has saved in her Google Drive. So, that's on the internet. Um, if you go to your regular computer, uh, it's literally a folder down in your regular folders, just like you would go to my computer, pictures, downloads, whatever it is, Google Drive is one of those folders. Um, so you just click on it like any other. That's my Google Drive, that's the wrong one. So here's Lawrence Google Drive. This is the exact same thing we were just looking at uh, on the internet, but it, this is actually folders on our computer. You can see the same folder called Joe and it's got the same folders. It looks a little different, but those are the same documents just on, on file and folder form on your actual computer instead of on the internet. So we click into Lauren's photos here and we have every style of clothing uh, organized into a folder. Amelia dress, Anna dress, Azure dress, Cassie, you know, so on and so forth. Um, <clears throat> and if you look on here on the internet, it's the same. LuLaRoe photos and there's all the folders and if you have any, uh, you know, um, straggling photos like this, then it'll show up as an actual photo. Um, so we'll jump into Amelia dresses real quick. And uh, here they are. So this is all the Amelia dresses that Lauren has right now. Um, what I've done is I've labeled the photos. This keeps them organized. When you upload um, photos, they go up in the order that they're in on the computer. And so if you have, um, if you take your photos in, in order of smallest to largest or largest to smallest, then that's great the first time you upload them. But if you ever add to your inventory and you get another set of, you know, two extra smalls and three smalls and four mediums and four larges and four extra larges, they all get pushed to the bottom of the list. And then you have extra small, small, medium, large, no, 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 no. And then you start it over, extra small, small, medium, so that when you upload to Facebook, you have to sit there and click and drag every single photo into its, um, into its position, which is a huge pain in the neck when you have a lot of photos, uh, especially when you get into like Irma's and Julia's, which we have a lot of. So I came up with this labeling system. Uh, you can only label it from the internet. If you're in here and you click on it, you don't want to re relabel them from the actual computer file. You want to do it from the internet just because it's a little more simple. Um, you just right click it, you hit rename, and usually it says IMG and then a bunch of numbers because it's image number uh, 10,873 and the next photo is 10,874 and so on. So I just label them by size. Um, when we started labeling originally by size, it would have them out of order because small came before extra large, but it also came before extra small. So they were all out of order when you uploaded them. So I put this number in front of every single size. Let me go into a different um, style that has all of the sizes, like the Irma. So here's the Irma file. Um, so I started with the number one. So one is an extra small. It doesn't mean that we only have one of this shirt. It just means that it's an extra, extra small. Um, and if you get into twos is extra small, it doesn't mean that we have two of every single one of these photos, although we do have some copies. See, we have a double, see, I have one extra small here and an extra small here. It's the same exact shirt. So you just have to note that when you, when you post in Facebook, you only upload one or you upload both of them and delete one. Um, so two is extra small, 
three is small. You can see I labeled them here. Four is medium, five large, six is extra large. And uh, when you get into, let me go to something that has double and triple extra larges like um, the Cassie. When you get into double and triple extra large, I wanted to keep the numbering system the same. So I went six is extra large and seven is two XL. So it looks like 72, but it's really just a number seven and then it's two XL. And then it's 83 extra large because it's number eight, it's the eighth largest size. And then it's a triple extra large, a three XL. So it goes all the way from one, this one only starts at two, all the way to eight. So that's how I label my photos. Now, when uploading to Facebook, um, so here's Lauren's uh, photos. She, this is unicorn fashion. Uh, click on the photos tab, just like you always do. When you go to create an album, these are literally on your computer. Um, you don't have to go to any fancy place to, you know, to, 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 to have them all. I don't know how you guys have been doing it, but it's literally in a folder on my computer. It's just, just like, you know, the pictures folder. They're not stored in pictures, they're stored in Google Drive because this is online, it's a cloud, uh, it's a cloud storage. So I can do this from this computer, I can go over to that computer across the room and I can upload, I can go to this computer in the middle of the room and upload, I can go anywhere I want and upload, as long as I have this um, on my computer. So when I'm ready to upload to Facebook uh, for a sale, I go into LuLaRoe Photos and I always just go in alphabetical order because it's just the easiest. So I always start with Amelia's, you grab the first one, and you grab the last one and you hit open. Um, and so that's it, I'm not gonna do it now because it'll create an album. Um, but that's it, uh, it's just like however else you would store uh, you know, your photos, but this is able to be stored on as many computers as you want. So in order to get this folder on your computer, uh, not just on the internet, when you're inside Google Drive, um, there's this button here, it's always an option no matter where you are. It says get drive for PC. If you're on a Mac, it says get drive for Mac. It's the same thing. Uh, so you click on that and uh, it, it, it prompts you to download the, the app. And it's an actual program. Here's the little um, taskbar item right here. If you're syncing photos or anything, it'll be active and it'll tell you. And the, the Google Drive symbol will, will do a little spin, spin deal here. So you know that it's doing something. Uh, so go to download for PC and just follow it just like you're downloading a program for your computer. It'll say, do you want to make permanent changes to the hard drive? Yes. And then, you know, it goes through all the accept the terms and, and, and then you finish it. Um, so it's really easy. It's extremely simple. It's literally just another place to store folders uh, and, and files and pictures and spreadsheets. Um, it's available online. You can do it, do it on your phone. I'll show you here. Um, on my phone, I'm able to access it. I have a, an app, it's called Drive. Click on that. Uh, this is my Google Drive, so I have in the, my starred um, things, here's uh, all the LuLaRoe stuff. So I have the Lisa photos, I have the Lauren photos, here's our spreadsheet of sales, and, other, and then the other spreadsheet of sales, and then we have two of these spreadsheets that just is kind of my spreadsheet. Um, so you can access it like that. And there's all the exact same folders, just like I was showing you on my computer uh, and on the files. And of course, you can you can access it there. I don't know if you can upload from your phone like this. I've never done it. We always just do it from the computer because it's a lot simpler and a lot faster. Um, so that's kind of Google Drive in a nutshell. Um, if you guys have questions, uh, we're always free to do a phone call. We can do a Google Hangout so that we can screen share and we can actually see what each other's doing. If you have specific questions, uh, we can do a Facebook, Facebook Hangout uh, or video chat or whatever. Um, but yeah, this is a, the best way I, I can see to store and to upload photos. It's accessible anywhere and it's very, very simple. So there you have it. And for online pop-ups, your posting time just decreased a million times. Yes, yes, yeah, it's super simple. It's always in the same order. Uh, it's just, it keeps it, uh, readily available. Um, you can access it from anywhere. So if you're out at dinner or if you're out of town, people have questions about your inventory, you have it in your hand all the time. Uh, so there you go.